What's up guys, this is VidaTong and yep, uh, this video will be a comparison of different items that are basically for best for free to play and we will choose what armor is the best for different situations. So yeah, let's start. First off, we will just talk about simple armor that is chain bodies and rune helms. They do not require quest, um, they're really cheap and bonuses of them are really good because it doesn't require any quest, so having chain body gives um opportunity to wield rune armory without doing the dragon slayer quest. Okay, so let's head on to another ones. Okay, so as you can see, there is uh different armor types like rune full helm, that's a more heavy um armor, and rune plate body. Rune plate body can be um purchased and only can be wielded uh, when you kill or even slay Elvogger and co complete the quest then you can buy um, this plate body from that guy in Edgewild or you can basically buy it from Grand Exchange and most usable combination is uh, Rune Full Helm, Rune Plate Body, Rune Plate Legs and mostly people choose or a uh, scimitar with a uh, Sorry, skip it. Skip it out with a uh, shield or a battle axe. Basically, skip it. Scimitar is the best weapon. Anyways, so yeah, this is the most uh, usable uh, outfit for leveling. Just having completed a Dragon Slayer quest, and I just forgot the uh, Rune Kite shield. So that's the mostly basic combination. What people mostly do. Uh, people who haven't really completed uh, the Dragon Slayer or a uh, really cheap mostly equips a Rune Chain Body and uh, Rune Helm and Plate Legs or not a uh, Plate Skirt or Plate Legs. There's that big difference. So Plate Legs, this looks a really uh, light armor and the helm looks really nice like a Dragon Haw and it looks more. Uh, I think it looks more awesome than a Rune Full Helm. Let's just compare. I think like that. Anyways. It just has lower uh, stab and slash bonuses, but what's better with the uh, chain body and basically this combination than using uh, plate body, plate skirt, uh, plate body, pl plate body, plate legs, and room full helm? Is basically that chain body combination has a bigger um, protection from uh, crush attacks and that makes this uh, armor really good when slaying uh, Elvogger because he uses um, uh, crush abilities uh, Hill Janet because he uses crush abilities so having chain body equipped and this combination will enjoy you more crush bonuses but lower stab and slash bonuses as a uh, room full hem on plate body and uh, plate legs has a huge amount more of stab and slash uh, mostly everything most than 20 as you can see the crush is the same as it were but still equipping a chain body and other chain um, basically you could even equip a plate skirt it will just endure you a lot more defense on crush than just using a plate body okay so you may ask why have a plate skirt and plate legs Mostly, I have written on forums and I know by myself that having a plate skirt, it's one kilogram less weight. So that really helps in PvP situations of running and that one kilogram can just basically save your, save your life like and you will just reduce the running, running, uh, draining and just having the plate skirt it was uh, till the knees like a girly, but now they have changed it and it most looks pretty the same. So yeah, in the conclusion, uh, mostly equipping room full helm, uh, room plate legs and room plate body is the most usable situations. Sl uh, just leveling, people mostly chooses this. But people who are mostly more cheap and slays uh, monsters that are... Uh, using a textile crush mostly buys chain body, play skirt, and helm. So, yeah, that was the guide.